Okay, in this problem, I'm going to be converting 96,000 centimeters to miles. I've uh, initially drawn this uh, train track here. The first step of all of these problems is to basically uh, write down uh, the place that you're starting from, in this case, 96,000 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 96,000 centimeters, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and add my first kind of cross piece to the train tracks. Um, in this particular problem, I would need to be given a conversion factor. The conversion factor that I'm going to be given is 2.54 centimeters is equal to 1 inch. So my first step is going to, go, is going to be to go from centimeters uh, to inches. So I'm going to go ahead and place this, uh, the conversion factor, in, as the next step. Notice that I can write it in as 2.54 centimeters over 1 inch, or I can write it as 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters. So let me go ahead and write that in, 2.54 centimeters and 1 inch here. Now notice, I placed it specifically so that the centimeters would cancel out. If I had written it so that 1 inch was in the denominator and 2.54 centimeters was in the numerator, my units would be square centimeters over inches, which is not what I want. In this case, the centimeters cancel out, and I've now, if I left it as, uh, like this, would have converted to inches. However, I want to go to miles. So let's go ahead and take the next step. The next step is going to be uh, to convert inches to miles. Now, I don't know what that direct conversion is, but I do know that there are 12 inches in one foot. And uh, again, here the target uh, with this conversion, the strategy would be to place what you're basically trying to get rid of uh, opposite the, uh, the other side here. In this case, I had inches in the numerator, the inches cancel out over here in the denominator, and I'm left with feet. Okay, so at this point, I've got um, one last conversion that I need to do. 5,280 feet are in one mile. So you would need to know that or be given that particular uh, equivalency in order to complete the problem. Here's where a lot of kids make mistakes. At this point now, they're, uh, they've correctly written the train tracks. Uh, what you'll need to do to be successful is multiply everything in the numerator, in this case 96,000 times 1 times 1 times 1, and here's where you need to be careful, dividing it by everything in the denominator. Divided by 2.54, divided by 12, divided by 5280. A common mistake for kids to make is to type into their calculators 96,000 times 1 times 1 times 1, divided by 2.54, times 12, times 5,280. That's incorrect. That's going to give you the wrong answer. Uh, when you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get something on the order of 0 0.59, 0 0.5965 and uh, those of course uh, yikes 0 0.5965 uh, and that is miles however I would want to deal here with significance uh, recognizing that there are two sig figs in 96,000 so I'm going to leave that as 0 0.60 of course that has two sig figs so 0 0.60 2.60 miles 0 0.60 miles and uh, and that's it